Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow integrate this. Press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, uh, let u let u be uh, be x to the power of five because when when you differentiate it, it will give you this x to the power of four. Um, so so looking at this, um, if you uh, if you break this up as x to the power of five times x to the power of five, um, if you differentiate this one thing. It will give you five um, x to the power of four. This uh, this to the power of four will later cancel out this. So looking at this here, hopefully you can develop a hunch that uh, you should make u to be x to the power of five. Well, make u to be x to the power of five. It will then give you this. Um, rearrange it to make x a subject. So now, sorry, the x a subject. So now you can put this into here, and then um, and then. You, this here would be u squared, so so u squared would be this. Put it into here, and then uh, and then leave this for the time being because later on this thing will cancel out with this thing here. Well, put everything in there, and then uh, and then this whole thing here, this uh, this whole thing here will then become this. Now, once you're here, this will cancel out with this. Factor out the uh, the one over five because it's a constant, so take it out. Then uh, then that would uh, this whole thing here. This whole thing here will then become this. So once once you get to this stage here, um, you should realize that when you um, when you differentiate um, inverse ten, you're going to get something. You're going to get something similar to this. So well, to integrate it, it would be um, it would be pretty much the square root of this. So well, if you differentiate um, if you differentiate inverse ten of this thing here. If you differentiate this, it will give you this thing here. Well, integrate this, it will give you this. Okay, so once you're here, then earlier we said let u be, uh, be x to the power 5. Earlier we said let u be x to the power 5. So now we can put this into here, and then this whole thing here will then become this. Okay, uh, next question. Okay, somehow integrate this. So uh, press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to integrate this, um, if you uh, if you substitute this, then it become a lot. It will become a lot simpler. Okay, so so uh, so when you're here, let um, let w be uh, be the square root of uh, of x. So if w equals this, then dw equals this. Rearrange it because you ultimately want to replace it dx. Well, dx here equals this thing here. So we can now put this into the uh, into the dx, put a w into here, and also into here. So this whole thing here will then become uh, will then become uh, will then become this. Okay, but but you've still got you you're trying to integrate with respect to um, to u, but then you've still got this annoying x in here. So go back to here. Well, square root of x is w. So, uh, so put this w into uh, into here. Okay, so uh, so that would then take you to here. Now everything's in terms of w because you're you're trying to uh, integrate with respect to w, and everything is in terms of w. So it's good. So now uh, factor out the constant. So that would then take you to here. So now um, now you you should realize that by now you should have the the uh, the skill to realize that you um, you should use integration by parts. Because so meaning you should make this to be your u and make this to be your your v prime. Um, because when, when you differentiate the u here, it's good, this bit here, this block here, will become simpler and simpler and simpler. So by now, by now you should you should have a skill that um, you should have you should be able to recognize that you should use integration by parts. So use integration by parts. So integration by parts. So so we could do our normal routine. Let u be this thing here, um, and then therefore uh, uh, u prime equals uh, equals two. We could do we could do our usual routine, uh, but rather than because here I I know that I, here you know that you have to differentiate it twice. So so rather than rather than doing our normal routine, jump to this table. It's much quicker. So so from this, let uh, we said u equals uh, this. Uh, v prime equals this thing here. Now, difference, 
differentiate this, that will then give you this, differentiate this, it will then give you this, differentiate it, it will give you this, integrate this, integrate this, integrate this. We've done this before, so if you don't recognize this table, track back to one of the earlier videos. So now, now and also remember, it's going to be plus, minus, plus, minus. So from this table, um, if you if you integrate this, it will be it will be remember this thing here. Um, it will be it will be uh, positive positive. Um, don't forget we we've got this two here. Okay, we've got this constant here. So uh, so it would be it would be that two times this thing here, which is this thing here, and then. Uh, and then remember it's plus minus plus minus and then the next one would be so so this was the first one the next one would be this would be this so uh, don't forget we've got it times with that constant two so the, so this two here would then become a four and then you've got w w and this thing here this thing here and then the next one would be would be this thing here don't forget we've still got this constant two here so we've got to times everything by two. So uh, so the last term, we've got to times this with the two earlier. So that will give us a four here. So it would be this and this. So that will give us this plus a constant. Well, you could do it to integrate this. You could do it the our, our usual method, but jump to this table. It's much quicker. Once once you've got this table here, you can jump to this straight away. It's much quicker. And, uh, and then earlier we said let w be the square root of x. So now we can put this into here. So when you square it, it becomes x. And then put this into here. That's this thing here. And then it, put it into here. And then it's blah blah blah. Overall, your answer will be this. Okay. So uh, overall, your answer will be this.